welcome inside Liberty North Fieldhouse on the campus of Liberty North High School. And tonight, the North Nation Sports Game of the Week between the Liberty North Eagles and the Hornets from North Kansas City. Good evening, I'm John Sprugel alongside Liberty North senior Alex Trinidad. And Alex, tonight's game, finally, Liberty North gets in the conference play here and has their first conference game against North Kansas City High School. Uh, North Kansas City High School is actually in their third conference game of the season. What can we expect tonight in tonight's matchup? Um, well, for North, first of all, we're going to see them, you know, rebound, have a good rebound game against um, North Kansas City here, you know, coming up from a loss against Carney. Tough loss there, you know. Uh, talked to some of the players and they said McCabe wasn't, wasn't pleased with the way they played and definitely uh, the way they turned the ball over and the way they, uh, just the way they, they took some, you know, not, not smart shots. And, you know, they're, they're obviously going to want to come back stronger, tougher, you know, try to get that win tonight in the first conference game. And from North Kansas City, you know, we just talked to the coach not long ago. He was saying they have a very young team. You know, they're 0-2 in conference, so they just want to get better and they just want to see if they can get a win in conference play. Most of the scoring for North Kansas City goes through sophomore guard sensation T.J. Babaker. Mm -hmm. What can we look for tonight? What do we have to stop? Well, he's made 19 threes this year, so he's obviously dangerous from that three-point line. we got to watch. He can also drive in the paint, dish out the ball to his other players. They're a young team. They're pretty talented, so we're just going to watch out for that. You talked to a lot of the players this week uh, from Liberty North's team. Mm -hmm. uh, they looking to bounce back here after their loss up at Kearney. What do they need to do to eliminate some of the things that caused that loss up there? Well, I would say... You know, Carney obviously beat them. I would say they beat themselves up a lot with the amount of turnovers they had and the amount of, you know, like we said, not smart shots. You know, turning the ball over, they scored most of all, all fast breaks from those turnovers, and if they eliminate those, we can they can get points back on their side and, you know, decrease the amount of times they get scored on as well. Looking for that bounce back win tonight. North Nation Sports Game of the Week is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank. Communities all over the Northland and Liberty at 5 Victory Lane. CC's Pizza is our proud food sponsor. Great pizza, great time for you and the family located next to Crowley Furniture in the Liberty Triangle. North Nation Sports Game of the Week is a proud partner with the Eagle Club. Parents, if you're looking to get involved at Liberty North, the Eagle Club offers many opportunities, lots of volunteer opportunities for you at Liberty North. And North Nation Sports Game of the Week is produced in part by Niles Media Group, supporting educational broadcast excellence in our community. Welcome back inside the studio here at Liberty North High School. We're getting ready for the game action here as the uh, national anthem is playing into the field house. But uh, we should be ready for a, a great game of the week tonight. Uh, Coach McCain, I know, has uh, worked diligently with his team this week to eliminate some of the problems that they had up at Carney and looking for a, a good bounce back, hopefully a bounce back victory yeah. tonight. Sure. Sure. National Anthem brought to you tonight by the Liberty North High School Pep Band. And if we could take a look at uh, Liberty North head coach Chris McCabe. He is in his sixth year as head coach of the program. Sixth year of the program as well. He was the first head coach here at Liberty North. He comes into tonight's game with a 97 and 57 record. Uh, the first year record was 8 and 19 the first year because that's the year they played with mostly uh, sophomores and some juniors. And then the last five years, his program has gone on a, a great winning streak, 89 and 38 over the last five years. Uh, so a great uh, run here for head coach Chris McCabe. He's had some great mentoring along the way. Uh, he started his coaching career back in uh, 2002 as a student assistant under Mike Jeffers at Johnson County Community College. He was out there for a couple years. Then he went over to K-State where he was a student assistant under Jim Woolridge. Uh, the head coach at that time at K-State, he was there under his tutelage uh, from 2003 to 2006. And then he came up to Liberty High School and was under the uh, mentorship of uh, head coach Roger Sturts from 2006 to 2009 before he took the job here at, at Liberty North High School. You can see the starting lineups uh, there for uh, Liberty, uh, for North Kansas City High School. Uh, they're starting out tonight with uh, number 21, Dang Ding. He's a 6'3 junior forward. Number 24, 
Charles Robinson, a 6'1 senior forward. Number 25, Dang Dang, a 6'4 junior forward. And number 32, Dang Bowl, a 5'11 sophomore guard. And then rounding out the uh, top scorer for North Kansas City, number 35, the sophomore sensation, TJ Babaker, uh, averaging 16 points a game. So, uh, Alex, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but it's a very young team, mm -hmm. and so they're going to get a lot of growth experience this year, uh, next year, and the following year is probably going to be pretty good uh, high school basketball down in North Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah, we, the coach um, for North Kansas City, Coach Jerry Marlin, he was saying that his team out there right now could possibly be, you know, playing when the JV played. I don't know if that's necessarily true because they're out there tonight. So they're obviously young, but they are talented. As you're taking a look here at the starting lineups for Liberty North, there's Michael Hughes, number 23. Hughes is a 6'8 senior uh, center. Uh, he is already committed to Akron uh, to play college basketball. And right there is 24, J.D. Brain, another senior. All five starting starters for Liberty North are seniors this year. The last one being announced here is number 33, Joe Barry. So the Eagles start out with Braden, Burns, Wansing, Barry, and Hughes to get into this game this evening. One of the things there is you see Liberty North circled around. One of the big things that uh, Coach McKay preaches, and all the coaches for that matter, is family here at Liberty North. And as you can see right there, circled together there as they begin the game. It's, it is team here, it's not individuals, it's team, and there's no I in team, so uh, they play together as a team on and off the court. Yes, they always seem to hold each other accountable for the mistakes, and when they do good, they're all, they also need to pump it out to them. Liberty North, uh, you see Michael Hughes there in the center. Liberty North will be going left to right on your screen. North Kansas City will be going right to left on your screen. And the tip-off controlled by Liberty North. Braden's going to bring the ball up the court. As we get going here in the early stages of the Eagles' first conference game of the year. Looking to get a little quicker start than the last time as Braden almost makes that three. Again, a card. They score on a couple times before they even get the punch on the board. Still a good two there by Hughes. So Hughes puts it back up. North Kansas City brings the ball up the court. Two to nothing, early two to nothing lead for Liberty North. North Kansas City inbounds the ball from the sideline. Bringing the ball up the court. See a lot of perimeter passing there. Floater. And it's good. good. North Kansas City ties it up 2-2 here at early stages in the first quarter. North passing it a little more cautiously, looking for the small shot as Watson finds the open three there. That's better than that's better, that's what they're looking for, small shots there. Watson comes into the tonight's game with a 44% three-point shooting percentage, averaging 7.3 points per game. Back outside for the three-point shot. It's a little bit short. Wansing rebounds. Pushes the ball up the court. Hughes looks inside to Barry. Goes across court underneath the Barry. And Barry puts it in. It's a good quick ball in there looking down low. It's a good move there by Barry to spin up and under. North Kansas City will be And Dang Bowl. Dang Bowl drags the the pivot foot there, causing their first turnover of the game. Liberty North here early with the 7-2 lead. Hughes back out to Wansing. Wansing drives the ball down the lane, kicks it back out to Braden, who takes a three-point shot, and it's good. J.D. Braden kicks in his first three-pointer tonight. He's a 33% shooter from the three. Averaging about 5.6 points a game. Now this is good to see. The North already 10 points on the board so early in the game. It took them a while to get going last week, as we keep referring to.
And a second turnover of the game for North Kansas City. Traveling call. That's one of the things Coach McCabe has talked about. One of the strengths of this Liberty North program this year is their senior leadership and experience. And all five players right now for Liberty North on the court are seniors. So there's a lot of senior leadership. Braden looks inside to Michael Hughes. Hughes turns, throws it across to Wansi. Puts it up, misses. Foul is called against Liberty North. A little over the back call now, Hughes. Takes his high for granted sometime. And up the, ball, uh, up the court, the ball comes. There's a sophomore guard sensation, Babker. Uh, misses a shot. Wansing's in open court there. Around Michael Hughes. Michael Hughes puts one up from three, and it's good. And a timeout is called by North Kansas City. Liberty North jumps out to a 13-2 lead here early, midway through the first quarter. That's a really a great run and a great start for Liberty North here. And it's also good to see Michael Hughes play also inside and play also outside as well. Michael Hughes is a 44% shooter from the three-point. Obviously, he's a 70% uh, field goal shooter. Most of those shots coming from inside the paint, uh, which causes a higher shooting percentage. But it's good to see his inside-outside play. Yeah, I mean, 6'8 high. They're going to give him that space on outside because they're going to want him to take that shot. You know, big man on usually uh, wants to take those threes, but if he's going to make it, he's going to make it. The head coach for North Kansas City is Gary Marlin. He's in his second year at North Kansas City in his, uh, as head coach, but he is no uh, no new beginner, I should say, for uh, coaching basketball. He's been coaching since 1974. A couple of stops along the way in Gainesville, Florida, and Shreveport, Louisiana. Good stop by the Eagles down there on the defensive end. Wansing around to Burns, Burns back to Wansing. Looking the ball, get the ball to the inside. Top of the key, high low down to Barry. Barry scores, that was a great pass, great look by Hughes. Great put back by Joe Barry. That was a good quick look there. North Kansas City bring the ball out, looking for a point. They only have two as of now. Hughes creates traffic in the middle of there so they can't get shot the bucket down. Braden pushes the ball up, wants him with the ball. Looks to get the cutter burns, but gets it intercepted by North Kansas City. They come back quick, and wants him is called for the blocking foul. And that's what McKay was talking about when he's talking about those turnovers. You just gotta be patient with your offense. Don't I mean that's a good that's a good little move down there by Burns to make that cut, but Wansing has to has to make sure he's looking up up the court and doesn't give that ball away. To the free throw line for North Kansas City is Babaker. His first shot is good. Wansing who created that foul is has a long lineage of basketball in his family. His dad, Craig, uh, was a standout basketball player at Oak Park and went on to be a very good basketball player at Baker University down in Baldwin City, Kansas. North Kansas City back out to the top, gets their offense set up. It's up a floater, it's no good. Watson grabs control of the ball, brings it up court. 16 to 2 as we wind down in the first quarter. Hughes with the ball down low, turnaround jumper is good. 18 to 2. That's, that's, that's good patient offense so far by North. Just looking around, finding the big man down there and letting them do the work. They definitely have a height advantage down there. And a roll around off the rim. That is Rosario. For North Kansas City, Rosario was four points per game on the season. I think Michael Hughes was feeling a little bit there, trying to get another three-pointer out. Wansing tries to put the ball up, but walks in the meantime. That's the second turnover of the game for Liberty North. 
And he was eager to take that three again. Doesn't fall for him this time, but I'm sure he's not done from there. As Coach Marlin was telling us for North Kansas City, this is a very young North Kansas City team. He's, uh, he said most of these guys on the varsity team could also have played in the JV game just because they lacked the experience. But this is a, a good test for them tonight here with this Liberty North program. Yeah, a little, little lopsided there. Five starting seniors for Liberty North and only one for North Kansas City. Shot put up by Babaker, then a strong rebound inside by North Kansas City. That's number 21, Ding Ding, 6'3", junior forward. Takes it to the line for two shots. First one is good. 17 to six here in the late stages of the first quarter. Looks like Robbie Hansen and James Perry sub into the game as Perry gets a quick rebound right there. Ding misses the second shot. Hanson brings the ball up to court for Liberty North. Inside to Joe Berry. Couldn't get it to fall. That was an excellent pass down low by Hanson. North Kansas City pushes the ball back up court. Rebound by Burns. Burns brings the ball up to court. Now North Kansas City needs to slow down their offense a little bit. They need to just set the half tone. Half court tone pace. They are going a little quick. Perry drives down the lane for a shot. Goes out of bounds. North Kansas City ball. Has some substitutions coming into the game. Babaker goes out. As we said earlier, Babaker is their kind of their scoring machine for them. He's made 19 threes on the season. Into the game for Liberty North, number one, Dominic Pergola along with Hanson there. Three-pointer is short. The rebound inside is good for North Kansas City. 17 to eight. For goal, goal. First three there, it's good. And a good shot for goal, who's a junior. He is a 35% three-point shooter. Averaging a little bit over five points a game, five seven point guard. Three pointer on the way, and it is good from North Kansas City for Jonathan Elfel. Elfel almost matches his points per game for the season at 3.6 with that three point shot. Was feeling it again, he took a shot, good job, good hustle by Garrett Burns. Throwing it off to North Kansas City player, when he wants keeps the ball. Liberty North may start five seniors, but they do have some experience coming off the bench. Both Dominic Fergola and Robbie Hansen played a good amount of varsity last year. And the ball to Hughes in the middle misses the shot, but he's fouled. That's really important uh, with the five seniors starting for Liberty North that uh, Coach McCabe gets in some of his underclassmen to get some experience for next year. Uh, for Gola, Hanson, Perry, uh, you might see Nick Coleman uh, before this game is over tonight so that they can get those guys as much varsity experience going into the next year as possible. With his first shot is good, increases the score to 22-11. Hughes misses the second shot. The ball moves up the court quickly. North Kansas City goes down into the, the paint, gets fouled. This is Rosario going to the line for North Kansas City. Looking to cut into that lead. Uh, that Liberty North lead here late in the first quarter. Sorry, it was good with the first. His second shot is good as well.
And you see a little full court pressure now from North Kansas City. Hughes brings the ball up the court, throws it down in the corner to Jared Burns, who scores right at the buzzer. Nice little jump shot from the corner from about six feet out. Liberty North increases the score here after the first quarter to 23 to 13. So what were your thoughts there on the first quarter, Alex? Well, I didn't see as many turnovers as we, we saw in the corner game. And, you know, they kind of fixed the problem. They, they kind of slowed it down. They had some times where they went quick, but that's because they were applying, uh, North Kansas City was applying some full court pressure. So they had out, so that allowed them to, uh, you know, get up and down the court and, you know, find find a big man down low and also take some good shots outside. You know, we saw Braden knock down, Watson, and even Hughes knock down some good. Here's Watson from the corner for his three. And move inside by Joe Barry, a very nice move down below. And then Braden's three-pointer from the, the arc. And then even Michael Hughes got into the action there with the three-pointer from the arc. And that was a nice high low there from Michael Hughes down to Joe Barry. Michael Hughes with a nice turnaround here. So a lot of highlights here in the, the first quarter for Liberty North as they come out and take about a, a ten-point lead here. Is, we go into the second quarter. See, that's what you like to see. Big man Michael Hughes, obviously one of the star players on the team, definitely the biggest, biggest out there. Getting the ball and even dishing it down low before he looks at the rim. Because they're definitely a focus on defense to stop him. So, you know, if he gets the ball, the people are open. That's a good look right there. It's going to be interesting here to see if North Kansas City comes back in a full court uh, defense against the Eagles here in the second quarter and see if they can create some turnovers. We'll see, we'll see how Liberty North can handle it. North Kansas City has the ball, though. Going up the court is Dean Boyle. Good ball movement around the perimeter. Hughes with the rebound. J.D. Braden brings the ball up the court. Hanson with the three-pointer, off a little bit. It's a very fast-paced offense for North Kansas City. That one went in, but they made him slow it a little bit down so they can keep the ball a little or get a little uh, rhythm going. That basket by Dang Bull, who has averages about 10 points a game on the season. Joel Barrett goes through the lane. Up a shot and misses it. Back down the court, Dang Bowl really pushes that ball up the court. And then a three pointer hit by who else? Matt Badger. There it is. It's his first three pointer of this evening. Brings it. North Kansas City here closes the gap within five. The opening minutes of the second quarter. And he's a throw about almost everywhere on the court as he gets the steal there. Fast break for Badger. Get a little lay in there. Badger puts it in. Turnover transition. Coach McKay calls the timeout. Wants to top it over here as North Kansas City has cut into the Liberty North lead now. Only three here early in the second quarter. We're gonna do sponsorship. The North Nation Sports Game of the Week is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank, serving communities all over the Northland and in Liberty in five victory lane. And who else but CeCe's Pizza, our proud food sponsor. Great pizza, great time for you and the family. Located next to Crowley Furniture in the Liberty Triangle. North Nation Sports Network is proud to partner with the Eagle Club. Parents, if you're looking to get involved, Liberty North, the Eagle Club offers many opportunities and lots of things you can get into. Also, produced in part by Niles Media Group, supporting educational broadcast excellence here at the Liberty North High School. After the timeout, Braden brings the ball up here as we get into the second quarter, holding foul on North Kansas City. Let's see if North can answer back. I believe that's about a six-point run there by North Kansas City to open up the second quarter. Two of the things that Coach McKay wanted to stay away from is turnovers and transition baskets from North Kansas City. It caused them to get back into the game. Hughes puts it back up. Good job battling down below. Puts it back up and is fouled in the process. And he'll get an and one. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times this year. 
So Hughes goes to the free throw line. He's a 62% free throw shooter on the season. Again, a 6'8 senior. He's already signed with the Akron Zips to go play after his senior year is over here. He misses the, the end one. Bowl brings the ball to court quickly, out of control. Back down to Hughes, throws it down the length of the court to Wansi. Wansi does an excellent job of battling and getting the ball up for two on a quick transition basket. Yeah, that was a great finish there by Wansi. Good little block and pass there by Hughes as well, started off. Babaker, a little off with the shot. Braden with the rebound, pushes the ball up the court. Around to Wansi. Wansi looks inside, doesn't say anything back to Braden. Need to figure out a way to get the ball down low to Mike Hughes. Joe Barry with the shot from the elbow. A little bit off. North Kansas City with the rebound. Dang pushes the ball up the court. Babaker drives the baseline and is fouled by Garrett Burns. That's good offense there by Babaker, realizing that the baseline was open. He quickly attacks it and then forces Garrett Burns to slide down and unfortunately get the foul there. Hughes gets a breather, goes out of the game. Looks like to be a moving screen by North Kansas City there. So it's now the fourth ball. That's only North Kansas City's fourth turnover of the game. Dominic Fergola back into the game brings the ball up the court for the Eagles. The Eagles are eight and two on the season. Nice penetration and pass off there by Wansi to Barry. Barry goes up, the, the basket is fouled. Goes to the line of one-on-one. Actually, it'd be a two-shot foul. That was good penetration there by, by Wansi. It was a good look, too. Second, it's up and just off the rim. Bull bring the ball down the court again. A little off balance shot from North Kansas City. Wansing's off to the races. Pergola inside, back to Wansing. Wansing drives the ball on the baseline, kicks it out. Go around the perimeter. Braden, Braden to Burns, back to Watson. And Braden with his second three-point attempt of the night. Good. Good rebound by Burns. Spreads underneath there, gets the ball out to Pergola. Nice pass into J.D. Braden with the left-handed layup. That was a great pass. An assist for Pergola. And that play would have been dead if it wasn't for Burns' great hustle there, you know, sprinting all the way from the free throw line to get that, get that rebound to keep that play alive. That's what Coach McCabe was missing last Friday against Carney, that intensity and that energy and the focus that he wanted to see. But it came too late. Wants him to pass ahead to Fergola. Fergola decides to pull it out for a three, and it's good. And North Kansas City calls it full timeout. As Liberty North extends its lead, 32 to 20. Now let's take another look at that three-point play by Pergola. There's the play down low, but the side of the there from the three always dead in there. Now that was a good play there. You know, right after three hustles down, he gets that steal. Quick five points there. Probably gave his force to the timeout, but it kind of got them right back in the knee of the game. And then once got the points back in the board for Bowler's three, you know, watching play at the first hustle play. I guess we said something about that in the, the timeout there. Liberty North has extended their lead back out to 12 points. 
with that pergola three. Exactly what they need, you know, they, they gotta keep their heads up, you know, coming from the loss last week, they gotta realize, you know, hey, we still have eight wins on the season, only two losses, conference game, and we just gotta go out there and show them, you know, we know how to play, especially in their own house. So far this season, it's been a very successful one for Liberty North. They've won two tournaments this year, the Liberty North Invitational, which was played in early December, in a thrilling three overtime game, they beat Park Hill South 67 to 60, and then up at Jewel at the Holiday Classic, they won the championship game over Rockers, so two large tournaments that they've won this season. Some great games played in those tournaments. A lot of potential to show there. North Kansas City trying to penetrate that defense there with Liberty North. Inside. Hughes is just such a force inside that he causes folks to miss shots or hurry shots down low because they're afraid of getting them blocked. Yeah, it was two good blocks there, and then he gets the rebound and finds the outlet. So, yeah, it's so hard to focus down there when you know there's a tower above you, ready to squat. It's the second great pass from Pergola. Finds Braden down low. Braden's fouled on his shot. He'll go to the line for two shots. Braden's a 75% free throw shooter on the season. 5'10 senior point guard. Yeah, so it's a good thing about Fakula. It's kind of a double threat. You know, we've already seen him hit a couple threes tonight. You know, he has a 62 point, or excuse me, a 35 point three point percentage. So he's good from there. And then with his quickness, if he drives in the lane, you know, penetrate, they're going to dive in on him. There's going to be an open man. He finds Braden twice right there. The second time, puts him on the line this time, and it's just good scoring opportunities for Norm. Braden's first shot is good, his second one is a little bit short. Baviker pushes the ball up the court, and it's stolen. Good job by Robbie Hansen stealing the ball right away from the North Kansas City player. Burns down low, gets his shot blocked. Beat Liberty North ball out of bounds. Coach McCabe is really complimentary of J.D. Braden. He says he's one of the top three toughest players that he's ever coached. For goal again from the outside, misses. Fast transition for North Kansas City. And back and forth we go here. Just a lot of quick transition. Yeah, yeah said it a couple times. North Kansas City, there's two kind of careless giveaways there. They should slow down a little bit and just kind of, you know, let the rhythm come to them, let the game come to them, move the ball around. They have some talent to do that. That's the key to delivering your season right there, getting the ball down low. Hughes, quick little jump, turnaround hook shot. Extends their lead to 35 to 20. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of guys out there that can stop a 6'8 guy and pull from the three-point line and drive on him. Since the start of the second quarter, Liberty North is on a 12-0 run to extend the lead here out to 15 midway through the second quarter. It's a good way to answer back there. Absolutely, if we can keep it going here. Get Liberty North their first conference victory of the season, but a long way to go yet. And yeah, North Kent should be showing the fastest in the game when they can score from any places on the court. And they got some talent, definitely some speed as they, as they show in the transitions. Sorry, old looking inside. Maybe one too many passes there for North Kansas City, as Dane should have put it up there before he made that pass inside the lane there. It'll be North Kansas City's ball out of bounds. It was a good change of pace, though. You know, they had an open look. It's just um, probably not the best last to shoot. They probably should have just took, taken the shot there. But they did open up some space there for the opportunity to go. But like we said, you know, Hughes is down there, probably you know, was in the back of his head. Sario tries to do a turnaround dribble, loses control of it, but they get the ball back. That's Elfold from the corner, misses the shot, ball down there for the rebound. Batter, baseline jumper is good. And that ends the 12-0 scoring run for Liberty North. Yeah, that was a good little pull-up shot there. I've had a couple drivings didn't work, so I decided let me just pull it from out there. Turnover here by Liberty North. 
Cole brings the ball back up to court quickly. Good job of J.D. Brayton cutting off the baseline, playing a good defensive position over there. Cole swings it around. Rosario from the corner hits the backboard. J.D. Brady takes a shot at the buzzer, and we will go to the locker room with 35 to 22 here at halftime. A good first half for Liberty North. Let's thank once again our sponsors for the North Nation Sports Game of the Week. CC's Pizza, our proud food sponsor. Great pizza, great time for you and the family located next to Crowley's and Liberty Triangle. And North Nation Sports Network is proud to partner with the Eagle Club. Parents, if you're looking to get involved with Liberty North, the Eagle Club offers many opportunities. North Nation Sports Game of the Week is produced in part by Niles Media Group, supporting educational broadcast excellence in our community and here at Liberty North. To take a look at some highlights here from from the first half. So you see Hughes pulls up from three there, and he's been a threat all over the court. You know, defensive and offensive. He's already made some in the paint, made some good threes there as well. You know, he's already had a couple blocks there. There's there's Mike Wands there, you know, running down, always playing tough, always a great finisher by the rim. You know, there's off the bench. You know, he's a really good threat there. Don Fergola's, he's already made a couple threes as well. You know, he's, he's penetrated, he's dished it, he's done about everything. He's just such a good asset from the bench. Here, we're to Liberty North over North Kansas City. Liberty North looking for the first conference win as long as well as North Kansas City. Story of the half right now is, you know, North changing up different from last week. You know, last week they lost to Carney. It was a tough loss down there, as it always is against those two teams. You know, they haven't turned the ball over as much as it's kind of what they're looking for. And they've made some smart shots. You know, they have 35 points in the first half, which is a lot more than they had the last time they had the first half. but. Had some, we've seen some good stuff there. North Kansas City, very young team. His head coach Jerry Marlin said he's only he's only the it's the second year of the program, but he's been coaching for a while. You know, they're a very young team, and they just you know they didn't slow down a little bit. They're having a very quick pace game, just running up and down the court. They slowed down. You know, they have the talent to have a good half court offense. They can make some shots here and there, and they can make the standing a little closer. You know, at one point they had an 8-0 run. The Cave had a, you know, call a timeout for Liberty North and kind of re-get his team back to where they mentally need to be. And it's been a good half so far. That's all I have to you from here at halftime. We're going to take a quick break and we'll see you guys back in the third quarter.
help with college planning or spending plan by contacting Financial Avenues today. Mayfair Peters of Liberty, proud supporter of the Liberty North Eagle Club. Mayfair Peters has two convenient Liberty locations with seven locations across the Northland. As a green dry cleaner, Mayfair Peters strives not only to provide great quality and value, but great customer service. Mayfair Peters of Liberty. Liberty Park Dental, providing complete dental services for your family. Deep cleaning, sleep apnea treatments, sports dentistry, root canals, gum disease, laser therapy, and teeth whitening. Liberty Park Dental. Triplet Dentistry, your smile is our top priority. Dedicated to providing you your family with the personalized, quality dental care that you deserve. Triplet Dentistry. Control Service Company. For more than 40 years, Control Service has put the latest technology and resources to work to provide systems and services that deliver maximum comfort and efficiency to buildings in a sustainable way. Whether it's to eliminate redundancies and streamline resource management, protect criticism and data, increase cost savings, or just improve occupant comfort, let Control Service Company show you how easy life can be in a comfortable setting. Inside Liberty North Fieldhouse here, getting ready for the second half action. Liberty North leads by 13 right now, 35 to 22. Joined here for the second half by Brock Gorton. He's a Liberty North sophomore, and he just got out of gym wrestling. You're joining me. Yeah. You're in the heavyweight division, huh? Yeah. Awesome. They uh, might have that go for you tonight. <laughs> I got choked out. You got choked out. Yeah. Huh? You okay? Yeah. You all right to do this game second half? Yes, I okay, good. definitely have a break thanks to Alex. So. Well, we're looking forward to second half action here. Liberty North has their first conference game of the season. Uh, North Kansas City is in their third conference. They have an 0-2 record leading into tonight's game. They lost a, a game at Raytown, and they lost a really close game, 70-68 at Port of Salem. So uh, they're a very young team. Get in. 
to the uh, full screen of the game. season and his second one is off the rim pulled down by Joe Berry Braden brings the ball up the court over the Berry around the perimeter Burns shoots from three it's a little bit off we're gonna say Berry was out Braden was out of bounds when he got that rebound Burns had an open look for his three, could not hit it. He is uh, shooting 20% from the three on the season. Took an extra step there, causing a turnover. Let's see if uh, Liberty North can get some points off the turnover here. They need to, they need to somehow shut down. Brayden almost loses that one to go out of bounds. That would have been catastrophic. 14 point lead for Liberty North here midway through the third quarter. Braden inside the Hughes with the left-handed hook. Misses it, gets his own rebound. Looks for the cutter. Braden coming down the lane, back out to Watson. Watson drives for the Nice job attacking the, the rim by Watson. Just what we've been used to this so far this season, whether it was the first game against Rockers or up until this point, Michael Watson, it doesn't show it on the stat sheet, but when he is needed, he can get this team going. A great kickstart. Watson averaging a little over seven points per game here on the season. 39 23 is the score. Here sure comes North Kansas City trying to drive in. Falls down, broke his own ankles there. Brady pushes the ball up the court. Is it. Watson tries to get the rebound, the ball goes out of bounds. Over to North Kansas City. Here, here come the Hornets down the court. They will cross the timeline. Bowl, averaging 10 points in the season, brings the ball up the court, start the point guard for North Kansas City. Babaker around from Bowl from way downtown, that shot's off, rebound by Barry. Here comes Braden and the rest of the flock of the Eagles. Nice pick there. Braden looks to penetrate, finds Wansing over the corner. Wansing from three point, a little bit short. Bull brings the ball up the court, advances it quickly. And Braden right court. there, stolen by Braden. Braden for three. Clanks off. 
be bound by James Perry. James Perry puts us to the test. No. Try by break and you get that ball defensively back outside. They swing around the perimeter. The three. Ball again from the three. Off the top. Perry brings the ball up the court for Liberty North. Great looks inside. Doesn't find anybody who passes the ball around the perimeter. Burns back to Barry. Barry has his pick pocket in from him. Foul. Dang, dang. A 6 4 junior forward commits the foul for North Kansas City. Some substitutions. J.D. Brain will go out of the game. Robbie Hansen checks in for Liberty North. Robbie Hansen started as a freshman last year on the or was a player on the varsity team last year as a freshman. Came in as basically a six man with his older brother. They have a girl out top. Slack. Down to Ding. Ding loses the ball. Spot four recovered by Liberty North. And Garrett Burns pushes the ball up the court. Senior forward for Liberty North. Hanson. Hanson drives inside. Gets over to Watson. Perry. Burns. Burns on the season. Hanson on the season. Watson on the season. Kansas City's Rosario. As Barry will now come out of the game. As he used to be the one who inbounds it. Gets it out. All the way over. Burns. Gets it up. Shot up by Perry. Good. short on his first one. Back to Babaker. Babaker pushes it up the court for North Kansas City. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Hughes. Hughes is just so hard to guard you can't even stop the rebound there from him. A little lob pass from Hanson inside. He's knocked out by Rosario. <coughs> Liberty North will inbounds the ball here. And so it might be the third one quarter. We have about uh, 41 to 23. So it might be the only guy who could guard Hughes, and even then, I think he's, Hughes has still got a good two inches up on everybody, even with their hands up. Pergola from deep downtown misses. Rebound by Burns against two North Kansas City ones back up, and he is fouled. It's a great play there by Hughes. Unfortunately for him, Hughes is getting ready to come in, and as Burns was right there, Hughes is getting ready to possibly help his little buddy there. Burns the free throw line has two shots. His first one is up and off the back rim. Burns is a 62% free throw shooter on the season. After 6.5 points a game. Got that one in though. Makes it 42-23. They extend their lead to 19 here, 42-23, midway through the third quarter. Don't be surprised to see the North Port on their opponents. They do do that on multiple occasions. Now this is a good bounce back game here for Liberty North, especially after their tough loss last Friday to Carney. Playing with a lot more intensity and energy than they were last Friday. Fewer turn turnovers, better shooting tonight. That's all encouraging news for the Eagles as they begin their conference season. Much more focused than they were last Friday night. And they're gonna need it, especially with this tough stretch coming up. This is not an easy 
Conference, the Suburban White Conference for Liberty North. Nice steal there by Mike Hughes. Probably the first time I've ever been able to call one of his steals this year. For, for Gola, out of the top. Drives the baseline, and it's good, a good job. Dribble penetration there by Dominic Fregola, a junior. Point guard for Liberty North, one of the underclassmen here on this senior experience team. A few many steps there for Rosario as he goes down the lane. Couple, three or four too many steps. <laughs> I think you can't get that many. Uh, they tell me. I don't think it's not, pretty sure this is not the NBA. And a timeout is called by North Kansas City here. There's a lot of teaching going on over there. In the you see right the, uh, here, Burns. North Kansas City model. One made right there. Second shot on the ball. I sent to one thing, and I thought maybe someone was going to come up and block it, but they didn't, thankfully. And you see the pickpocket there by North Kansas City. And uh, North Kansas City would not be able to stop them as that free throw would go in. The North Nation Sports Game of the Week is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank, serving communities all over the Northland and in Liberty at 5 Victory Lane. Stop on in to Hawthorne Bank for all your commercial and residential banking needs. It's Hawthorne Bank. We begin play, they break huddles here. We're in the second half of this conference game here inside Liberty North Fieldhouse on the campus of Liberty North. There you see the student section. Craziest student section that you will ever meet. Hanson has the ball slapped out. Liberty North will inbounds the ball here underneath their basket. Liberty North is the only team in the conference who has not played a conference game until tonight. As they have been sticking mainly to tournaments. Got it! Hughes back out to Fregola. Nice shot by Dominic. And of course, everyone, I would like to say it for you all. Fregola! For He's shooting 35% from the three this year. Averaging a little bit over five points a game. Shot up. That's Badaker, misses the shot, rebounded by Nick Coleman. Nick Coleman, the under, underclassman, getting to see some action tonight. Coleman from the corner. Passes up the shot. The goal looking inside. Trying to play the pick and roll there with Hughes. The uncertainty of the offense that Liberty North runs where you don't know who's going to get the ball. Robbie Hansen from out downtown. Rebounded by Hughes. Hughes back up and it's good. How are you going to block that shot? He's already standing over you. He might as well just... Any time he looks up, he hits rim, and there's a timeout called. And that's the end of the third quarter. Liberty North increases their lead to 26 points here as we end the third quarter. So a good bounce back game tonight for Liberty North after their game last Friday up at Kearney. Good to see you get into conference action. Have a good performance here on a Tuesday night. The Eagles are going to hit the road here this weekend and head over to St. Louis to play in the Kirkwood Tournament. Their games are on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday all weekend. And they'll be playing Eureka in that one. And they come into that tournament the number one seed. It's a very competitive tournament over there in St. Louis. I know Coach McCabe likes to go over there to get some other in-state Missouri competition. Yeah, it'll be a live stream game. Don't forget that, so if you still want to watch your Eagles home and away, please remember that there will more than likely be a live stream going on. You can watch that on NorthNationMedia.com or NilesTV.com. Either website will be able to bring you all that action. And here's the conference standings. You see Staley up top there, 2-0 this year in conference, 6-2 overall. Raytown, who will more than likely put up a fight against Staley and possibly even beat them out this year at 1-0. That's a very competitive conference there, especially with Staley. Raytown is a good program. Crispin's home, Oak Park and Crispin, Ruby North, and then North Kansas City to round out. 
North Kansas City misses their three. Back down court quickly for the, the Eagles. If you're North Kansas City, what are you thinking when you see William Crispin, who only has one win ahead of you in conference standings? Well, there's not an easy win in the conference, and so you have to work for everything that you get. Braden puts a jumper up from the elbow. Yeah. That's a good from... William Crispin has, is 1-11 this year, and their only win is in conference, so North Kansas City must be a little bit disheartened by that. That's why we play the games. <laughs> oh, swat there by Mike Hughes. Surge protector. So out of bounds on Hughes, North Kansas City. Let's get a replay on that because it's Mike Hughes. Get that out of here. Mike Hughes saying, nah, I swat bugs like you. Foul as Bull drives the lane. That'll be out of bounds to North Kansas City. They try to cut into this lead, Liberty North, here in the early stages of the fourth quarter. Almost loses Ball. it there. The Bull down in the middle, Foul back called. out. It's gonna foul called down below on Hughes. Pick and tag foul there. <laughs> the Akron commit getting called on that foul. North Kansas City's going to inbound the ball here. Just imagine what it's like to play against a man who's over six foot, almost seven feet tall, and a commit to Akron University. Great hustle play there by Braden as he tries to steal the ball. I mean, what has to be run through their minds when they see that? Oh, by the way, you've got to guard a D1 commit in my cues. Well, it's always fun to, to play against competition. And uh, when Hughes heads out to Akron, that'll be a totally different ball game for him as well. The high school game has been one where he has uh, excelled very well at and dominated at, but it's going to be a different story once he gets to Akron. As a uh, timeout is called, and it will be Liberty North basketball thanks to a travel. And as we take a look here, this is going to be the last season where Liberty North is here in the Suburban White Conference. They're moving up. They'll be taking on their rivals next year, man. However, they will have some company and some familiar company in Raytown next year. So the Crosstown rival here, Liberty Blue Jays, is going to be in their conference lap next year. The Truman Patriots join the conference as well. Park Hill South, always a tough competitor for Liberty North. They went to triple overtime with Park Hill South here earlier this year in the finals championship game of the Liberty North Tournament. St. Joe Central Indians, always a tenacious basketball team. And then right down Blue Jays will stay. They're, they're the only team that will remain in the conference with Liberty North. There's to take a look at the uh, Liberty North drum line there, the pep band here on New Eagles night. marching band. Yeah, next year we'll bring new changes for Liberty North. As you see the student section. And a Chiefs theme for the Chiefs to get on the Patriots this weekend. Had a nice ceremony at halftime here where Liberty North sports marketing teacher Melinda McCabe was honored. Uh, they will be an annual scholarship in Melinda's name that will go to a $1,500 scholarship that will go to a student who's in the sports marketing two class and plans to attend the college to pursue the sports marketing program and a career. A nice tribute to her. Here comes North the basketball. Nice backdoor pass from Garrett Burns to Michael Watson. I've been watching that for the last 10 years from those two guys. <laughs> They've rehearsed that well and know each other well and know what's, where each other's going on the, the court. So a great job by Burns and Watson there. Team Seemed like no court. one even knew he was there. Tough shot was not able to get in there, unfortunately, for North Kansas City. Outlet pass quickly to Watson. Watson takes the ball hard to the hoop. He is fouled. He'll go to the line for two. They look to uh, expand their 30-point lead here in the fourth quarter. And I would expect Liberty North to get ready to make a platoon swap here pretty soon. This game is pretty much out of reach for North Kansas City, unfortunately. A good opportunity for Coach McCabe to empty his bench and give some of the underclassmen playing time and also some of the uh, seniors on the court 
that uh, don't get a lot of playing time, get them in the game as well, but they're obviously very important for the program. Uh, Griffin and Sanford are uh, still on the bench in their nice t-shirts, nice t-shirts there. Magic hands work. Yes, everyone do the magic fingers. Watson comes out of the game. So it's a whole new lineup for Liberty North here. Sanford number four into the game. Slow motion there. Pass pass. Three deep from the corner. Can't get that Misses. over Robbie Hanson. Nick Coleman rebounds, brings the ball up the court. Travel. Sanford travels. He thought about taking the three, then traveled. Robbie Hanson checks out of the game. Come on with James Perry. So both sophomores are out of the game. Matt Long into the game. Along with Gage Thompson. Gage, a fellow member of the broadcast team, part of NNSN here. Nice shot there by North Kansas City. Rosario responds with a good rebound and put back. It's not 24-23. It's 54-25. Coleman around the perimeter for Gola. Gola shoots off. Gage Thompson with the rebound. Gets fouled. Liberty North inbounds the ball underneath. Thanks. Scores off. 54-25. Nick Coleman inbounds the ball to Quentin Sanderford around Coleman. Ball stolen there. More great defense over North Kansas City. Down foul. to North Kansas City, he is fouled by Gage Thompson. He'll go to the line. Going to the line for North Kansas City is Dang Bowl, averaging 10 points a game on the season. Sophomore guard, one of the young Talent here on North Kansas City team as he makes his first free throw. At this point for North Kansas City, you're playing for experience. And learn to play together as these folks are, these students are going to be, student athletes are going to be playing together here for the next two or three years. And so much as you can develop chemistry over the closing minutes of this conference game, uh, the better off they'll be as the season goes along here. Nick Coleman with some behind the back. Passing for Gola from deep. Fragola! For Gola is coming off the bench. He's a 35% three point shooter. I think that percentage just went up after this game. Shot there in North Carolina. Nice little put back there by Charles Robinson. He is the lone senior on this North Kansas City team. Good put back shot there by Robinson. Oh, lone senior. You don't wear a mask, but you must hide your shame. See the giant heads floating in the crowd. In such a short period here, this is the sixth year of the program here at Liberty North. And what a success it has been over these these six seasons. They've played in five consecutive district championships and they won four consecutive district championships. So that's a good start to the program here. 97 and 57. In Missouri Class 5 by the Missouri Basketball Coach Association. <coughs> Again, the number one seed here at the upcoming Denver Miller Kirkwood Tournament this Saturday through this Thursday through Saturday over in St. Louis. How about the beginning of the first season that they had, 8 and 19, then for the last five, they've gone 89 and 38. Yeah, that 8 and 19 season, that was the first year many of these boys had played basketball together. In the first year here at Liberty North, there were just sophomores and juniors attending the school, so very much a developmental season, and what a great season that was as they've turned around the last four years here, and as you said, gone 89 and 38, so a 
fantastic programs developed here in a short period of time. At Liberty I think North. that ref just got done with my <laughs> wrestling meet earlier. In trouble. Young Eagles bring the ball up the court. Nick Coleman around the Gage Thompson. This is great experience for these younger Eagles. Don't get to see a lot of playing time from time to time. Coleman drags his, his foot. Turnover. This game will drag on a little bit longer with that dragging foot. Bull brings the ball up the court. That's Babaker. That's that Turn around one. jumper misses that long with the rebound. Out to Coleman. Coleman dribbles to penetration, knocks it off to Sanford. Sanford shot bounces off the back rim. Back out to Coleman. Coleman again to Sanford for another shot. It misses. Rebound by Babaker. Uh, that's not good luck there by Sanford. Two good shots though. Open good open shots that should have been taken. Couldn't get him down. That's Babaker. a great shot there. A nice job off the, the bank. It's that 30 point lead has been cut very deeply now. Wide open. Ah, Gage Thompson, come on, man. For goal up top, Gage Thompson. Around the Coleman, Coleman from three. It's good. Hey, Coleman. Coleman really likes, uh, Coach McCabe really likes Coleman, calls him the gym rat. He's have to kick him out of the gym. That's not always a good thing. The summer living in the gym. I, I, I don't know if that's a compliment being called a rat, but okay. Well, that's what they call gym rats sometimes, is people who spend so much time in the gym that they uh, have to kick them out at some point. So here you see that shot. Maybe his foot was on the line when he took it. But they're going to give it to him. Yeah. Thankfully, there is no replay. When you're saying Jim Rat, I've never been called that, as you can obviously tell by my physique. Babaker at the free throw line for North Kansas City. His first shot is off the rim. Out of bounds, it'll remain North Kansas City basketball. Just a reminder, the North Nation Sports Network is proud to partner with the Eagle Club. Parents, if you're looking for to get involved at Liberty North, the Eagle Club offers many opportunities. North Nation Game of the Week is also brought to you in part by Niles Media Group. As North Kansas City scores an and one here. Niles Media Group supporting educational broadcast excellence in our community. For those of you who want to get very nerdy, the Clay County uh, standings were released not that long ago. And it reads exactly as you would think, Liberty North in second, only behind Liberty. This is the same thing in district standings as well. Coleman with a nice backdoor pass there for Gola. North Kansas City responded quickly to tie, tie that off for the Eagles. Into Matt Long. A little surprised to get the ball in there. Matt Long back out to the top to Gage Thompson. A little turnover there for the Jays. And it looks like it's coming back to the Jays again. Sanford's pass is out of bounds, creating turnover. See that right there? Just a tough break there for the Eagles. Could have turned into a lot. Kansas City trying to try and drive the ball down the court. Wide open Bull shot. With a wide open shot, misses. Sanford's out, rebounded there underneath. Put back by North Kansas City is good. Time out is taken by Liberty North. Maybe McCabe seeing something. As that is the end of the game, North Kansas City comes away with an 0-3 conference record as Liberty North into their first game in conference play, comes away with a victory and a nice bounce back victory nonetheless. 16 to 35 here in the Liberty North Fieldhouse.
Yeah, it definitely was a good one, even though I caught the tail end of it. You hear the band playing the fight song for Louis North. Hey, I know some of those guys. It's a nice way to round out the week here and go into the Kirkwood tournament where Liberty on Thursday he will play Liberty North will play Eureka. Eureka. In the first Kirkwood. Team that tournament. At the Kirkwood tournament. So we wish the Eagles the best of luck on that. As they increase their record this year to nine and two on the season and one and oh in conference play. Get a little time away from conference here as they go over the Kirkwood Kirkwood tournament. And just another reminder here as we close out tonight's broadcast, North Nation Game of the Week is brought to you by Hawthorne Bank. Serving communities all over the Northland and in Liberty at 5 Victory Lane. CeCe's Pizza, our proud food sponsor. They give us a lot of great pizza to eat. Yes, they did. Great pizza, great time for you and the family. And great cinnamon rolls, too. Yeah. Located next to Crowley's in the Liberty Triangle. And by... The Eagle Club. Parents, if you're looking to get involved with Liberty North, the Eagle Club offers many opportunities. And produced in part by Niles Media Group, supporting educational broadcast excellence in your community and here at Liberty North. So once again, Liberty North wins their first conference game of the season against North Kansas City. In a stomping. With a 60 to 35 win here. I want to thank Brock Gordon, Liberty North sophomore and a heavyweight wrestler on the Liberty North wrestling team. Thanks for joining back here in the studio. We're going to be back here in the studio for a little bit here, Brock, as we close out this game. Uh, a good game for Coach McCabe, good bounce back victory for Coach McCabe and the Liberty North Eagles. As they, uh, which are basically it's the midway, midpoint of their season here. Yeah, but they shouldn't start Stop sleep or start sleeping now. They got Fort Sage coming up as well as some other tough opponents and this one. All right, we'll wrap up this. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Brock Gordon. I'm John Sprugel. Thanks again to also all of the behind the scenes students who do a great job producing this broadcast here at Liberty North. The camera operators, the producer, the director the replay, the graphics, everybody involved. Thank you very much. For Brock, I'm John. We'll see you next time here on North Nation Media. This has been NNSN.